everyone and how are you guys doing today? It is your favorite and most fabulous YouTuber ever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and I'm a 52 year old makeup artist and I've been in the industry for 30 plus years and I'm still in the industry where I help people just like you with skincare, makeup, and fragrance every single day. And um, with that said, guys, we are ready to do a pass or yes or will I buy it or whatever you want to call it. Will you not want to buy it? We have a huge, I've got a script today, guys, a script. I normally I never do a script. I have to do a script today because there's so much stuff going out today. We'll be doing it a little bit different today. I will probably have to go through it a little quicker today. Um, kind of touching base on some of the things because some of these things are already out. Um, but I feel like it's a need for us to go through it and to do it. Um, so anyway, if you're willing to see what I have to say, what kind of new makeup news there is, because there are some new products in here that have not come out yet, but there are some that still are. Then, and you want my valued opinion on it, what I think about it, then stick around and let's get to it. If you guys really like this look and you want to know how I got it, um, there should be a get ready with me before this video. Um, you guys can check it out. Um, we kind of touched base with a little bit because I've been gone for a little hot minute. If you guys want to go over there and check it out and I can explain, I explain a little bit more in that video. Um, I think I explained more about makeup than I actually did about what's going on in my life. But anyway, you can still get a little bit more of a glimpse there because today we're going to be really focusing on these products and what's coming out. Um, so with that said, let me move over here just a little bit. I'm trying to figure if I want to go this way or that way. Usually, maybe this is my good side. Let's switch over this way. <laughs> so yeah, let's go over to um, our favorite networks. Um, so we'll start off with Trend Mood. So our first one is, so this one is already out. So this is, is the Gucci Plumping Lip Gloss. It's out now. Um, there's four colors in it. There's the Coral, the Fuchsia, the Suzanne Brown, Bertha Pink. Um, and they're $42, and it's Comforting Hydration. I have played with these already. Um, like I said, they already are out already at Sephora. They are a little bit of, like, they do have a plumping sensation to them. They do feel a little tingly. Uh, the colors are really pretty. They're very sheer. Um, there's not much to them. Um, this is definitely going to be a pass for me um, because, I, I've again, I've tried them. I put a little bit on my lips. I've put on the back of my hand and tried on my lips. Um, I, they were okay, but I've got enough plumping lip glosses and stuff, and um, if you got, like, your lip maximized, or um, even if you dare to use the Too Faced, I think you're good. I don't think you need another lip max or another plumping lip gloss. And with that said, we're gonna move on to more lipstick. And this is the Makeup by Mario lipstick. Um, it is already out now. Um, he came out with quite a, um, 18 different shades for $28. Um, there is all over TikTok and Instagram and um, over on YouTube. A lot of people have reviewed this lipstick. It's a very, it's a more of a satin finish lipstick. Um, the colors are really beautiful. Again, I've already played with these. They are already out. Let me see if I color. Uh, they're already out. So, um, they're really pretty. I mean, they're really pretty lipstick. I don't need any more lipsticks right now, guys. Um, I feel like if you've got lipstick already. I don't feel like you really need any more lipstick or I don't feel like I definitely don't need any more lipsticks. You have to guys let me know if you are interested in these. But there are some really beautiful um shades in it, some really beautiful nude pinks and some nude roses and um some really pretty colors. So um you have to let me know down below what you guys think about these lipsticks. But um it's a pass for me. I'm definitely not interested in these. And um moving on talking about more lipstick is the Dior Rouge lipstick. Um, and it came out in 68 shades. So there's like 68 shades. They're not all in, they are in stores already. They're already at Ulta. They're already at, um, Dillard and all of the other retailers as well as Dior.com and as well as Sephora. They don't have all the shades in it as, uh, as they are on the, uh, website. The website has the 68 shades, but the other, I think they got maybe 40 something or something like that. But anyway, these are really beautiful colors. They, I have played with them. I have felt them. They did re, um, reinvent the, uh, the, uh, formula. Um, they are more natural. Um, they have a little bit more of a, uh, a little bit more of a natural look to it. The packaging is different. The packaging is really beautiful, by the way. It's really pretty. Um, it's just a really pretty, a pretty lipstick. I mean, you know, it's got more of the flowers in it, the hibiscus is in it. Um, they just switched it up a little bit. Um, but it is a really beautiful, um, lipstick. Um, if you've never tried your lipsticks, you should definitely give it a try. They have them in, they have them in the satin and they also have them in the matte. 
um, or more of the, um, what do they call them? It's not the matte, but the velvet. I'm sorry, the velvets. Um, so definitely go over and check it out. If you're in a store, play with some of them, watch some of them, just feel them, but they are really beautiful. I don't need a needle lipstick. I still have some of the older formulas, so I still have some, so I don't need to go and buy any more of the newer formulas. So it's definitely a pass for me, but you guys will definitely have to check it out for yourself and see what you think. Um, and that's it, guys. We're not, we're still finishing with more lipsticks with NARS. The NARS came out with um, more of their Afterglow Sensual Shine lipsticks. There are six new shades in it. Um, this line already existed. They just came out with six more. And with that said, they also came out with a palette as well as a um, an eyeshadow out. Um, but it's called the Afterglow Irresistible um, Pretty Glow Collection. I think this came out like right around right after Christmas, um, but the palette is really pretty. I played with it in Ulta. I played with the lipsticks, and I've also played with the After Hour blushes. The blushes I was really impressed with, though. They're really pretty. Um, I don't normally care for NARS. NARS doesn't really do a lot for me, but I did like the way that they felt. Um, the shadow palette is very basic for NARS. Um, it's just a skip for me on this one, too, at the pass. Um, I'm just not a big NARS fan, but um, you know, if you one of you guys pick this up, you'll have to let us know down what, what your feelings are about it because I would really like to know about that or if you tried any of these blushes or the lipsticks. The lipsticks are kind of more of like, I think they're more of like, they've got more of a sheer kind of glow kind of feel to them, but they are really pretty and I mean, the packaging is really pretty, but again, it's a, definitely a pass for me. I'm definitely not interested in these. Burberry is coming out with eyeshadows or I don't know if they're coming out with eyeshadows or if they already have them. I think there may be some new formulas. So guys, these are about as basic AF as you can get. I mean, they are really, really super basic. They look like they're pretty much, I want to say they're pretty much, they look all pretty matte. Um, they're like, but they're browns, basic brown colors, um, which you will see a, a little bit of a theme going on through here because there's a couple palettes that are similar to this one. But I mean, but, um, they're pretty, the packaging kind of pretty. I've never been a big fan of Burberry. Um, I've not been a big fan of their foundation. I was not a big fan of um, some of their other colors and things that they've, lipsticks and things that they've come out with. Nothing about Burberry really speaks to me. So you guys will have to let me know down below what you guys think. If you guys have play, played with any Burberry, if you like any Burberry. But um, you know what? I don't really care for it much. So it's definitely a pass for me, so I'm definitely not really interested in any of this Burberry stuff. Um, but um, uh, they also are coming out with um, a new uh, setting powder as well. I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't have a picture of it, but they're coming out with the setting powder too in four different shades. So if you're interested in any of the Burberry eyeshadows or them, they should be either, I think either Nordstrom's or the Burberry site or um, it, I don't know if they're even launched over here yet or not. I'm not real sure, but I just know that they're coming out soon. So anyway, anywhere where they sell Burberry, you should be able to pick that up if you're interested in that. Um, but up next are some things that I do. If you guys don't know, I do work for Lancome. I work for Lancome full time. Um, I've worked for them for over 25 years. Um, I really do love the company. The company's going through a little bit of an overhaul right now. So they're doing a lot of new things. They're coming out with a lot of new stuff. So get ready because in July, they're coming out with a lot of stuff. A lot of new stuff, especially in, in treatment. There's new fragrances, a lot of stuff. I've already seen spring, so I already know what's coming out. Um, but these are the, this is the Adol, um, I'm just trying to go, the Ultra Precise Liquid Eye Blushers. They're for eyes, cheeks, and highlight. You can even use them on your lips if you want to. There's seven shades in it. Um, I think that they are... Um, I can't remember if they're 30 or 35. We already have them. They're already in stock already in stores. They're already in Nordstrom's, already at Dillard. Um, I don't think it's online yet. Um, the last time I looked, they still weren't on there, but the stores have already gotten it. Um, so if you want to go check them out, you can play with them and swatch them in store. They do feel really nice. There's um, there's about two or three mattes, and then the rest of them have a little bit more of a shimmer to them. They do stay put forever. They do not come off. They stay on really well. I'm hoping that maybe I might get some gratis in these because I don't want to have to actually purchase them, but um, maybe I might be able to get some of these and try them out for you guys to see what you guys think of them. But you can even use them as a liner if you want to. But um, the colors are pretty. They're very light. They're not super heavy. They're not really super dark colors. But they're really neutral tones. They're not anything over the top. It's nothing crazy. No beauty, no super colors or anything like that. Uh, but you can use They look really pretty as highlighter. It even looks good on the lips a little bit. Some of them do. But um, anyway, that is coming out. That is already out now. If you go to the stores, they're already out there. And then um, they're Lancome is also coming out with the Intimate lipsticks, which they already had, but they're coming out with um, seven new shades. Um, 
that they came out with, and they are gorgeous. And again, if I can get one of these, the formula has changed. The Intimat, they changed the formula a little bit, so now they're a little bit more creamier. They're more hydrating, but the colors are really beautiful. These really beautiful blushing nude colors are gorgeous, and you can even use them as blush as well. So, if I can get a hold of the eyeshadows or one of the lipsticks, I will let you guys know because the long one of the long comb formulas from last year is some of my most favorite lipsticks of last year, which I'm still going to do my best of 2023, and you guys will see it but they were one of my favorite lip formulas because they feel so good on the lips and they do such a good job on the lips and they just feel really awesome that I definitely uh, want to play with more of them. But they do have these in store already. They already already there. They already are online as well. And they do have a special limited Valentine's Day collection online too as well. If you're interested in that, uh, that's out as well. Um, and I think these are $5.00. Really beautiful colors. Um, there's seven of them. So definitely check those out if you're in a store. Just watch them and play with them. But um, if you ever get a long comb into matte lipstick, you will really, I don't think you'll be really sorry about it because they are really nice. And they, they have a really comfortable wear and they stay on pretty well. Up next, keeping the ball rolling, guys. We're keeping the ball rolling. So this is Anastasia and they are coming out with their Lip Velvet. So this is what they're coming It's the uh, Velvet Smooth Lip Mousse Weightless Full Pigment and True Matte Color. These are already out as well. Um, I have played with these. Mm, there's like six shades in it. I kind of like the packaging. The packaging kind of cute. Um, the colors are pretty. They're like nudes, kind of like whatever. It's a moussey formula. Um, I don't know. They're $24. I think they feel a little dry. I, I don't, I didn't put any on my lips, but I played with them, swatched them. But um, I would say no. I would say the pass on those um, for sure because I've definitely played with those and not. I don't feel really crazy about those. And by the way, the long comb, did I say a pass or yes? Because I mean, I would say, because since I work for the company, I would definitely say it's not a pass. But if I get it free, it, it would be a, a yes. Um, but would I actually go out? Because I've got many eyeshadows and stuff already and more lipsticks. I already have lip, long comb lipsticks. I would say no, but if I get some, I would definitely be, because I do love it and love the formula, it'd be something if I'd have to try anyway. So anyway, it's, um, it's going to be a pass for buying it, but if it's a yes, if I get it for free, <laughs> yeah, so it's not the, what's the go with that flow on that one? Um, the Anastasia is just definitely a pass, and then Clinique has also come out with some new lipsticks, and these are the pop lipsticks, I believe. The pop lipsticks, there's um, two finishes, there's a satin and a matte, and they're 18 shades. They, it says March 7th, but they're already in store. So if you go to the stores, they already have these. And you guys, these colors are gorgeous. Like, they have the most beautiful, bright shades. I'm definitely hoping I can get one. Because I really love them. It reminds me of old school Clinique. Like, back in the, you know, back when they had some really, really bright shades in the early, late 80s, early 90s is what it reminded me of, some of these shades. So, they feel really good on the hand. Now, I'm putting on my lips, but I did feel them. The colors are just sensational. So, if you guys are looking for some really beautiful pops of color of lipstick, like bright fuchsia and pink and red and orange, you need to check these out because they are really, really beautiful. And Clink has also come out with these eyeshadows. So they have a cream shadow on one end and then there's like a powdered shadow on the other end. I think Clinique has done this before, um, but they are called, um, but they're coming out, it's called the High Impact Shadow Play. And they're already out as well. And I have played with these and I gotta tell you, I'm a little impressed. I mean, Clinique has done some Clinique that with the mascara last year, and then they've done this lipstick, and now they're doing these eyeshadows. These are really cool. They're very simple, very um, elegant, quick ways of doing eyeshadow. They're pretty pigmented, and they go on really smooth and really pretty. Um, so, I mean, I wouldn't say yes or no to this. So, I would say it would, I'm in the middle ground with this, with the lipstick and with the eyeshadow. I don't know if I'd go out and buy one, but again, if I was given one, I might would do it. But I'm not sure, I mean, if I would buy one. But I mean, the lipstick, I'm very tempted. The eyeshadow, I don't know. I've got so many eyeshadows. And if I did the Adol, I don't think I would. So, again, I'm a little all over the place in this video, guys. You just have to kind of forgive me. But I don't think I would probably go with this. So, this would definitely probably have to be a pass for me. But I have played with them, and they are really pretty. So, if you're a Clinique lover and you love it, Definitely go into a store and play with them and check them out because I think you might really like it, especially if like quick and easy. Um, so the next one is the My Mini Dream Glow Blush and Palette came out. Like it's it's already come and gone. Basically, everybody's already done said and whatever. Everybody's already tried it. I mean, you know, I'm not interested in it, but I'll throw it up here just to let you guys know. If you didn't know, she had a mini of the My Dream Palette. 
as well as the, um, there's a five shadow palette and there's also like a mini blush with a highlighter blush and I think it's something else in it, a trio. A mauve blush, a highlighter, and a soft hybrid, yeah, it's like a blush all together. And one was 27, one was 20. And then she just released the berry collection. Let me go over to the picture so I can see the berry collection. This, you better get ready. This is, this is just, this is, uh, yeah, I'm like all for it. Damn it, don't have it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I couldn't find it. I'm trying to find the pictures of it. So, anyway, so it is, um, it is actually out now as well on the Ulta site and on her site as well. And if you guys did not know, I'm an Natasha Don affiliate. So, you can save 15% if you've not used the code before. You can save 15% off your sale or your purchase. Um, so I have all that linked down below if you guys are interested. Um, you know, because I do, I'm a, I have to have affiliate link. I think it's Gabe. Is it Gabe Loves 10 or Gabe Lewis 10? I can't remember. I, I'll put it all down there below. So if you guys are interested. But this Berry Pop lipstick is the Berry Pop liner. And it's also a cheap trio. $48, $24 for the lip, lip crayon and $27 for lipstick. You better bet your sweet, beautiful butt that I'm going to get this, okay? I'm just telling you, this is going to happen. I want this as eyeshadow. I want this as blush. Put it all over my body, please. I, I just, because I can't even tell you this collection, something about it. I don't even ask me why I get into these collections. They, some of these collections, does some of you guys do this? Like, you you look at some of these collections, and some collections you're like, ah, you know what? And then some of them, you don't know why it turns you on, but it does, and you just go bananas, and you just feel like you just have to have it, even though really it's not anything. <laughs> Like, I mean, I'm asking for a friend. Can you just tell me? I don't know, but I'm definitely interested in these. I definitely want to get these. This is definitely coming home with me. I don't know when and how, but I'm definitely going to get these. So, I'm definitely, that is definitely a definite yes for me, um, for sure, 100%. So that, is a pa that is definitely not a pass. That is a yacht. A, a shimmy, 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 treble, shoulder, shoulder, boob, boob, boob. Yes, that's what we're going to get with that one. Charlotte Tilbury, and she's come out with uh, the repromote of her Lovegasm palette. This is already out. It's already on her site. If you guys don't have the Lovegasm palette, I have it. I have the Lovegasm, and I have the other orgasm. I can't remember. There's so many gasms with Charlotte. She has a lot of gasms going on. I mean, girlfriend has gasms out the wazoo, okay? So, she has a lot of fun in her life. I <laughs> just saying. But um but yeah, she came out with it, so it's actually up on her site. I think it's like $75 or something for the palette. If you guys are interested, it's there. Um and she's also coming out with some lipsticks. So the lipsticks are the um the Charlotte Tilbury are $35. These are really super gorgeous. So she came out with um quite a few shades in it. There are five pink lipsticks and there's five like red berry type lipsticks. And then there's eight lip liners that are, she's also coming out with as well. Um it, like yeah, there's five and five and they're $35 a piece. Um, if you guys don't know, I do not like Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I love the colors. The colors look gorgeous, especially the pink ones. They look really pretty, but I just don't like Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I don't like the way they taste. I don't like the way they feel. Um, something about them makes me feel like I have butthole lips. I just really don't care for them. I just don't know what it is. I just don't care for them, guys. Don't ask me, but I know for you guys that love her lipstick and love her. Now, her lip liners... Her lip liners were some of my best, favorite lip liners of last year, believe it or not. I'm really falling in love with her lip liners. She's got amazing lip liners. Um, so the, the lip liner shades that she come out with, that she coming out with, there's like five or six of them. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely interested in maybe one of those. But um, I would say a yes on the lip liners, a pass on the lipstick, and a pass on the love gasm. Because, you know, I've gasmed enough. I don't need a gasm anymore, okay? Um... <laughs> Just for you guys, FYI, um, if you guys did not know or if you're not heard on the makeup radar, Charlotte Tilbury is going into Ulta, and she's already started into Ulta. The the unit, the most of the gondolas have already up, and they are stunning. Um, so they look really, really beautiful. So if you guys have a local Ulta, and you know if they're if they have like Chanel and Dior and Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona, they will more than likely get a, a Charlotte Tilbury. Now, if they don't have that, and your Ulta is smaller, more than likely you won't. Um, they also are getting Ole and, and Rickinson. And Rickinson is that how you say his name? And then they're also getting a the the um 
um, Sole de Janeiro, they're getting that as well. It's already in Ulta as well. Now, the, every Ulta should get that as the Olay as well. But Charlotte Tilbury, I'm not really sure about, but just want to let you guys know, if you don't know about that in Ulta, that it is coming. So if you are, if you don't have a Sephora nearby you or whatever, um, that might be really nice. But you can also get the Charlotte Tilbury on the website too, so that'd be great. So you can use your points. That'll be really great as well. Um, so I just wanted to keep you in the know about that. Elf just keeps giving the gift that keeps on giving, honey, because they just, Elf just can't quit. You know, Elf cannot stop. They are just like nonstop. They are, they are pushing it out, man. Let me tell you. The Elf has just come out with the, it's the uh, camo blush, um, which is already, that's been out. I mean, it's really pretty. They have the CC um, hydrating, it's the CC hydrating um, cream. You have the CC hydrating cream. It, um, it's, that is $15. Um, and the, the camo blush is seven. And then they also coming out with the, um, the pout clout lip plumping pen. So they're coming out with those two. And that is in, um, what, eight shades? Eight shades or so? Eight, eight or nine shades or so? That's coming out too. So Elfa's coming out with all kinds of stuff, guys. So that would be a, um, a pass, pass, pass. Because so I mean, like, no, no, no. Because it's like the camo blushes are very, very, very pigmented. But I have the Juvia's Place. I don't need any more blushes. I don't I don't care for Elf CC Cream. I didn't care for the last one. Even though it's a hydrating one this time, I don't care for it. And these lip plumping, like, I need another lip plumper. Like, I need a hole in the ass. Let me tell you. I'm telling you, it's like too many lip plumpers. Too many lip plumpers. Too many lip glosses. Too many. But I'm just saying, if you guys do want one, though, I do am a really big fan of their lip oil. I bought the lip oil and I think it, what, the lip oils are like $5 or $6. They're really good. Um, so if you want a lip plumping pen and you don't want to pay the price for a Too Faced or um, you know, or the Tarte ones or whatever, and you don't want to pay for the price or the $7 price point is not bad as well as the blush. So if you even wanted to try the Rare Beauty blush and the cream, but you just too expensive for you, it's a good alternative. They have some great products over at Elf. Um, it's just a path for me. I don't need any of these. Um, just like I said, I just don't need none of that. Um, so we're just going to keep moving on because, you know, like I said, we're trying to keep this going because there's so much going on. Um, so up next is the YSL. I wanted to mention this. This is the new Black Opium EDP Over Red is what it's called. Um, this is a really beautiful bottle. I have not yet got to smell it. It is out already because at the time that I saw that it wasn't out, but it's out already. I have not seen it in store yet, but they did get it. Um, they will get it eventually, but it's out already. I think it's on the YSL site, but I'm not sure. And I saw it on Sephora. I think it's a Sephora too. It's there already. But it's got um, cherry green mandarin. Um, the heart is Moroccan jasmine, orange blossom, black tea, coffee, Indonesian, patchouli heart, Madagascar, Madagascar vanilla. It smells amazing. Um, so as soon as I smell it and I, I find out about it, I'll let you guys know. But I will pin it down below if you guys want to check it out and you want to buy one. But it's really, really delicious. The bottle looks gorgeous. Um, I didn't put a lot of fragrances in this one, but I mean, I'm telling you, it, it looks really stunning. That's why I put it in there. Um, so that definitely is a pass for me because I might be able to get some samples of it to try. But if I, but you know, but I'll definitely let you know if I get to try it or whatever. We'll um, play with it a little bit and I'll let you guys know. Oh, my hair, I got a hair out of place. We can't have a hair out of play. God forbid. But anyway, um, yeah, definitely if I play with it a little bit, I'll let you guys know what it smells like. But it smells, it sounds delicious. Next, Laura Mercier has the new, the Real Flawless Weightless Concealer. It is also out now. I mean, it's also on her site. Um, I think it's on Sephora. It's in Nordstrom's. Um, I have it on now. So, I have it on now. It looks really beautiful. I'm really playing with it, though. It's pretty, but I'm still trying to get a feel of whether I really like it or not. So, you guys also have to stay tuned for that. I'll also talk a little bit more about it in my uh, Get Ready With Me. Um, but it is, um, it's, it is a $33 concealer concealer and it's 20 shades the shades are a little wonky i think you would need to go in the store to play with them i wouldn't buy them online I, I just would say no don't don't buy them online if you're interested it is a pretty good concealer i mean i just have a sample of it but um but i mean but i kind of like it so far i'm still playing with it though to see if i'm really enjoying it but um, you have to stay tuned for that. But um, it's a pass for me because I got samples of it and I tried it, um, as well as the foundation because I've, I've I played with the foundation. So I have the foundation on now too as well, which is also in the last Get Ready with Me. So I'm just saying, you need to see the Get Ready with Me if you haven't seen it yet. So I'm just saying. Uh, but anyway, but yeah, it's a but it's really nice though. I'm not I'm um I don't know if I would go and buy it either one of them. 
even though I like it, I don't think I would go out and buy it. But I mean, but it is, but it is nice though so far. So I'm, but I'm still playing with it. So just keep on check out later for that that information. Um, and then up next, we're gonna talk about Guerlain. And Guerlain, she, you know, she. She got it going on. Girlline's got like new primers. She has 24 uh, karat gold primers. There's three new shades in it. There's a gold, there's silver, and there's a rose. Um, as well as they also have the new uh, concealer, terracotta concealer coming out with 16 shades. Um, and then the Girlline Tinted Kisses B Glow Oil that is also in six shades um, that will also be coming out as well. So, um, so the lip, the, the oil, the um, primers, I didn't see all of them out, but the um the the gold one, I think the gold one and the silver one are out. I didn't see the other one, but I think you can definitely go over the their web their website and I definitely I think I found it on Sephora. I don't know, I have it all down below. I found the, the codes and stuff for it down below, but you have to check it out. But they look really pretty. It's a pass for me on the primers, it's a pass for me on the concealer. Because I'm going to tell you. So let me let me just let's talk a little just a tad bit more about the concealer though before we before I keep going because I'm I'm jumping ahead of myself a minute. But you guys, this concealer, I, I just no 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 and no because I'm going to tell you why. I bought the foundation. Absolutely hate it. Do not like it. It is too matte. It's everybody's like, oh my god, it leaves such a pretty... I'm like, glow? What glow are you talking about? There is no glow in this foundation. I mean, that the foundation was one of... Well, I'm not going to say that. I'll have to save that for my worst of 2023. But just that, it's probably going to be my worst of 2023 because I did not like that. So the concealer immediately turns me off. So I'm going to say definitely a pass on this. I'm definitely not interested in this. But it's not out yet. Um, but some of the primers are, and I do love the, 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 the primer that I have the Laure, but they reformulated, it, but it's the same thing. It's a 24 karat and I love that primer. So if you never tried the Guerlain primer, you definitely need to give it a chance. I mean, it's expensive. She's not cheap. She, she's around like the clip to the $80 range, but it will last you for ever because it is such a, it's such a hydrating primer and it goes such a long way but it is really beautiful it is a really good product and the lip oils now the lip oils look pretty interesting i got to say i got i got to tell you the lip oils look pretty interesting um i'm gonna say pass on the lip oils right now but the lip oils are coming in like six shades i think and um i'm just jumping around here i gotta jump back to my here here they are yeah, there's six shades in it. There's a rose glow, a pop rose glow, a peach glow, a honey glow, a poppy glow, and a lavender glow. Um, and it's coming soon. I don't think it's out yet. Um, again, I'll keep you guys posted if it does happen, if it does come out. But um, but it does, I mean, it looks really cool, but it's a lip oil. How many lip oils are out now? The same thing with, like, that terracotta concealer. Like, I mean, not that I would say that you would want it in any way, but I mean, if you're that interested, I mean, looking at the colors in the, the concealer, by the way, they, they're they not impressive. So just saying, but I would say pass on the, the primer because I already have it. So I already have that. And I don't really need a colored one, um, but, but, but it is great. If you do, if you haven't ever tried one, it is good. Um, but the lip oils, I mean, if maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe, because I do love lip oil, but I've got so many lip oils, and I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. We just, we, we have to think about that one, but I mean, possibly it's a possible with that one. It's a possible, but the concealer definitely that is a that's a a pass to the past to the past passing passing passing. We're we are running by that one, honey. We don't care about that one at all. Okay, so up next is one that I am looking forward to. I do want to try this one because you guys, if you don't know, if you do know, you know, you know. But if you don't know, you know, you know. But I'm going to tell you if you know. This Maybelline Super Stay, uh, what is it? Super Stay Lumi Matte Foundation is only ever seen in Europe or in Asia. I mean, I think there's only six shades in it right now. But I know when it comes over here, it's going to have quite a few shades because Maybelline does that. Um, this looks very interesting. I love Maybelline and I love L'Oreal. So usually pretty much everything that they come out with, I like to try it. Um, I definitely would because I love the powder foundation from last year. That was so good. That powder foundation was just, it was just gorgeous. It was so pretty. Um, 
but yeah, I'm going to have to say this is this is definitely a yes, so I'm looking forward to that one. Um, then um, also, uh, I forgot to mention that Lancome is coming out with more of their, um, it's the Rouge Intimate Liquid Lip Matte Lipsticks, and they're the ones with the little, uh, with the little lip liner brush on the end of them. They are so good. We sell them. They're really long wearing. They sound really well, but they're very comfortable. They're coming out with six more new shades than that one. And they are, um, I think they're also $35 if I'm not mistaken, but they're really good. So they're looking like some really beautiful berry shades and some really pretty red shades and brown shades. I don't need any more. So this is a pass for me. And, you know, since I work for the company, but again, if they give me one, I mean, I'll let you guys know and play with them and see, but I, I play with these all the time. I put them on customers and customers love them, but it's definitely, it's a pass for me on this one. But the Maybelline, that is definitely a yes for sure. A hundred percent. Um, and then up next, we're going to talk about this Sean Takai spring collection. Child, child Sean Takai. What is going on with these? I mean, the sea turtles are cute. I mean, it's cute. We got, it's, so there's two eyeshadow palettes and one is more of like a, your, your neutral cool tone kind of brown. And then one has got like a little bit of a moss green in it and it's peachy. And then there's four different lipsticks and the packaging is really pretty. Um, of course, cause it's Chantecaille and it's really beautiful. And the sea turtles are cute, it's cute. But you guys, I mean, really. I mean, because, you know, these these palettes, I mean, I don't know exactly because I can't remember how much they are, um, but I want to say they're, like, close to $65 or something like, some crazy like that for three eyeshadows. I mean, I mean, and their lip veils are good. They have a really, they are really good lipstick. They are really good lipstick, and they're around the, I think they're around $45 or $50, I believe. Their lip glow, their lip veils, or whatever they're called. They're really good, too, but, y'all, this is the pass. Don't just say don't just say no to the turtle. Don't do the turtle. Pass on the turtle. Just just let the turtle swim on by. <laughs> you don't need the turtle. <laughs> but you know, but if you love Sean Sky and you love really natural and you want something that's probably not gonna give you very much pigment. Um, you know, if anything was out of this collection that if I was gonna say if you were gonna buy it, buy one of the lip veils or one of the, the lipsticks, I think you would like it because they are really good. Um, you know, but it's an expensive one, so I mean, I have to save a coin or two to get it. But uh, but they are really good and they are nice. But the eyeshadows I've definitely passed on. You know, so just let the sea turtle just swim on by. I'm just loving this highlight over here, giving me the highlight, the skin. This Laura Mercy foundation, I gotta say, it's pretty. It's really pretty. I gotta say it. But that No Man highlighter, you gotta watch to get ready with me. Just saying, this is not a promotion. Just gotta watch to get ready with me. <laughs> Up next, we have Prada Beauty, and it is finally here at Sephora. Prada is, they they came out, like, what was it, September or October, and then it was just on their site, and then it was just overseas, and then it just, it just, it took a hot minute to get here, but it is Sephora now, so the foundation is there, they have the lipstick, they have the eyeshadow, um, you know, um, fifty dollars for the lipstick, and it's um a sixty-five to eighty for the shadows, and then the uh, foundation. I can't remember the foundation. I want to say the foundation's close to seventy-five or sixty-five or something like that. Um, I've seen reviews on it. Um, and the the shadows actually have the pigment. They are really pretty, and um, you know, uh. I will mention Sophia Sees Beauty, you should go over. She did a whole review of this when it first came out, and she did the, the makeup and the lipsticks and all of that. She tried all of it. Um, you know, I am not interested in that. I, I kind of was a little bit interested in the foundation in the beginning, but I am just not interested in it now whatsoever. So, it's definitely, this whole thing is a pass for me. But um, if you try any of the Prada stuff, let me know down below what you guys think about it. But I'm definitely not interested in the Prada whatsoever. And, um, you know, and then up next, we have the Clay de Poe. And Clay de Poe has actually two things coming out. One is actually already out. It is the Diamond Class Lipsticks in Six Shades. And you guys, Six Shades... And it's pretty, because it's a lip lipstick. They are $110, girl. They are $110. And you in danger, girl, if you buy one of these. In danger. Because it's like $110. <laughs> it's like, why? It's, it's expensive. But they pretty. They're pretty. They're in gold packaging. So, I mean, if you want that. So, yeah. But it's definitely like a new. A new. I don't even know you even need that. 
But I mean, if you got the money, you got the coin to burn. Because I mean, who am I to say? Because I've got, a, I mean, you know, I love Chanel lipstick. So I mean, you know, and I know some of their lipsticks are expensive, but and Dior and some of them too. And my mom called me, you know, they're 35, but they're not 110. But I don't know. Anyway, they're pretty, but I mean, it's a pass for me on this one. And then they're also coming out with um, six new eyeshadow singles that are coming out. And the, and the colors in them are really pretty too. But I bet you these singles are going to be 50 bucks minimal a piece for these singles. And I mean, and and trust me, the colors look pretty. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, they're not ugly. There's like a purple, there's a pink, there's a brown, there's some cream shade, there's a navy. If you're into singles, which not many people are, I mean, I don't know. I just don't know, guys. I'm not really sure about if I'm, I definitely, it's a pass for me. But I don't know about you, but it's a pass for me. I'm going to, I would say no. I mean, it's just like, I don't think we need a, a $65 or $60 single eyeshadow. But I mean, even though they're pretty and it might be a nice pop on the lid and it is clay de peau, but if you, and if you love clay de peau again, it may be worth your time. But it's like, but for me, I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm going to have to definitely pass on that one. Um, and then speaking of which, we're just going to get moving right along because, you know, we're just keeping this going. Um, Fenty has came out with a new concealer. Um, and it has 50 shades in it. It's a medium coverage. It's moisturizing. It's called the Hydrating Longwear Concealer. Um, it's uh, already in stores already. It's already at Ulta. It's already at Sephora. It's already on the Fenty site. If you guys are interested, you can go over and check it out. I played with it in store. Was not impressed. Again, like most Fenty products, they feel really drying on me. It feels dry on me. I thought it was going to be really beautiful. I was like, oh my God, it's going to be dewy. But it, it did a born this way on me, like the ethereal one. And it dried and it got cakey and it just on my hand. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. This is not going to work. So I would say you need to play with this. And you need to go in the store and you need to play with them. And you need to check out the shades first before you decide you want to buy it. Um, you know, but, um, if you love Fenty and most of their products work for you, this may be a winner for you, but for me, it's a no. It's a definitely a no because it did not work for me whatsoever. I was already playing with that. I was like, nope, it's not going to work for me. So that was definitely a pass for me. Um, so we're just going to move on from that. Up next is the Louis Vuitton Beauty Taunt de Fluid Foundation. It is on the UK, 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 UK. <laughs> UK site now and it's in 30 shades um and um actually uh Teresa Dead has already done a review on this I think she did uh she played with this foundation already and um and also uh there's been one other person that I saw that did this one too but it um it seems really beautiful the bottle looks gorgeous it's stunning the bottle is just it's a piece of artwork the bottle is itself but it's supposed to be a suitable medium to full coverage um it's 62 of euro dollars in Europe, so I don't know here. It would probably be close to maybe seventy five or eighty here, um, but it is. Um, but it looks really beautiful. It's supposed to be like a dewy kind of a radiant kind of coverage. Um, the shades. I mean, oh, Charlotte um, Hallcraft, she's the one that did it. She, she's in the UK. She tried it already, and it looks really beautiful on her, and she really liked it. Um, you know, I don't know. It looks really interesting. I'm not gonna say yes or no on this one. It might be a possibility if it comes over here and it's not too expensive. Or might, if I maybe squeeze in and get a sample or something somewhere, I'm not really sure. Because I don't know where they're going to sell it at. Maybe either Neiman's, maybe. Or, I don't know. I'm not Nordstrom's. I'm not sure. But anyway, and when it comes available where we can get it over here and I can actually look at it and play with it a little bit, I might be able to see what I think of it. Um, but I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no on this one. But it looks interesting and the bottle does look really beautiful. And it is it does look really pretty. But if you've tried it, let me know down below. Um, and then also, uh, Estee Lauder is coming out with their Bronze Goddess Collection. They do this every year. There is a, a pan. I don't know. There's like, what, how many? One, two, three, four, five, ten. Uh, no, nine shadows in a pan. And there's like one bright shade. There is a body product, a body luminizer, the Shimmering Gel A, which is $38. The palette is going to be $60 for eyes and cheeks. And then there is going to be a perfume, the Flora Verde de Parfum with coconut water and bitter orange. Um, and it will be available soon. Um, when the last time I looked, it still was not out yet. Usually Estee Lauder does Bronze Goddess in March, I think. Um, so it should be out um, 
Um, this is a pass for me in all all aspects. The palette is very basic. Um, the uh, the bronze goddess, the shimmering gelades are pretty, but unless you like the fragrance, you're not going with the gelade because it smells it has the bronze goddess fragrance. And then the fragrance is a new one, and I don't know what it smells like yet. So I would definitely have to smell it in person before I would probably say that I buy it. But I'm not a huge fan of the bronze goddess fragrances. They're a little loud for me, but um, but they are really, but it does look really pretty. Um, but it's definitely a pass for me all the way around with the Estee Lauder. And then up next is the um, Tarte Maracuja Juicy Concealer. And it's going to be in 21 shades and it's going to be at all retailers. I think it's already on um, HSN. I've been looking on Ulta and Sephora and some of the other ones and it's not there yet. I think it's on their site too already. Um, I am really interested in this one. I'm going to definitely, this is going to be a yes for me and I'm going to tell you why. I love the concealer, the the Maracuja concealer in that. I loved it. It was my favorite concealer for about two years. Loved it. It was creamy, rich, hydrating, very thick, but I loved it. Just gorgeous. Just beautiful. Um, this is definitely going to be a yes for me. Um, I'm not going to pass on it. It's definitely going to be a yes. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to let you guys think my thoughts on it because it does look really beautiful. Um, I'm not a huge heart fan either, but I mean, but I love this concealer to death and I'm really interested. It's in a pot, so it's going to be interesting to see what it's going to be really thick or is it going to be greasy? What's it going to be like? Is it going to be really hydrating? Is it going to be like the other one? I don't know. I don't know if they're going to get rid of the other one either. They may be, um, and they're coming out with this one in its place. So I don't know. We'll just have to stay tuned for that. Um, but they are also coming out with these cheek and eye palettes, too, as well. All it is showing is just that the palettes have their, um, a couple eyeshadows in it. And then it's like there's, what, six, six, there's 12 eyeshadows. There's a blush. There's a contour. There's two blushes and a contour. So one is dark and one is light. Um, I don't know when these palettes are coming out, but, um, I'm not a big fan of Tarte Shadows. Um, the, it would have to be an awful lot for me to want to pick up one of these, but I'm, I'm assuming that I think these palettes are going to be around, uh, $52. They're $52. Yeah. But, um, and I guess if you're a big fan of Tarte and you like the very basic shadow shades, which they are, they're very basic and you like the cream blush and stuff all in one combat, it's kind of like a vacation or a palette you travel with, you may really like this one, but I'm going to have to say no on this one. This is definitely a pass for me on that. I definitely will say pass on that. Um... And then, you know, moving on, moving on, we're just going to keep talking. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that ColourPop and Twilight did a collection together. And guess what? It sold out in four minutes. <sighs> the drama of Twilight. But they came out with a palette. There was a palette, some lip oils, a lip, um, a liquid, um, three liquid eyeliners. Um, I seen a few reviews on it. Um, and it looked really pretty to me. I was actually thinking about it, but... Um, because I did like the Twilight movies. I never watched the book. My roommate loves Twilight. Um, here's the collection. I'll put it up here if you guys can see it. But, um, it also had a body glow. Um, they're re... Uh, ColourPop is saying they're going to relaunch it again or they're going to restock it again soon. So, um, I'll keep an eye out for you guys if you're interested in it. But, I mean, it looks... I've seen a ton of reviews on it. Um, you know, people, you know, it's not a bad palette. It's not a good palette, you know, but it's, it's, you know, it's a pass for me. I'm not really interested in it, but I do like the outer packaging of it. I think it's a cute idea, but I'm definitely not interested in it whatsoever. But I just don't want to throw that one in there. But um, Huda Beauty has released. These are also out too, guys, if you're interested in it. She has the peach, the pink and the peach. Uh, the loose, Well, she had the pink loose powder. Now she has the peach pie loose powder because they have the cherry blossom. And now she has a pink concealer and she has a peach concealer. Um, well, she had a pink one before, but now it's even pinker. So, so that is out now, too, if you guys want to check that out. Um, they, they are also out on the uh, Ulta's, oh, I'm sorry, the Ulta, the Sephora website and on Huda's website as well. Um, they look really pretty. I'm going to pass on both of them. I already have the Cherry Blossom, which I love. I have the, the Pink Pomelo uh, Concealer, which I love, and I still have tons of it. So I don't need a new pink concealer, but if you want a really bright pink concealer, you might like this one. The peach ones look really cool if you Got a little bit more of a medium to darker skin tone that may work better for you. The powder looks really pretty, but I don't need a peach one. But um, but and I do love Huda's powder. Her loose powders are one of my favorite. But um, it may be something if you're interested or if you are looking for new loose powder, you might want to try it out. Or if you like a correcting powder, you might want to try it out. But um, it does look really pretty. Um, but um, but yeah, I'm just gonna pass on both of those. Hey guys, so up next we're gonna talk about Miss. 
Patrick Starr. He is coming out with, a One Size Beauty is coming out with a new Secure the Glow Tacky Hydrating Primer. Um, it's supposed to, um, it has boba, it's a boba primer applied to clean skin. It's supposed to give you a good, good glowy look, 24 hours hydration, moisture brightening, sensitive and dry skin. Um, it's already out now. It's already out on Sephora. Um, and the Patrick, uh, the One Size Beauty website as well. Um, I want to say, it doesn't, I forgot the price of it, but I think it's like $35 or something like that or whatever. I will be picking this up. I don't know when. Um, it may not be right away, but I will be trying this out eventually. It is a, definitely a yes for me on this one. This is a yes, yes, yes for me because I definitely want to try it. I love a plumping primer. I actually um, just uh, re-got the Essence, the Essence Glow Primer that's kind of similar to the... Uh, um, the glow recipe, and I love it, and I got me another one of the, um, the e.l.f., the Jelly Pop primers, I love that one, and it was only, like, was it, $10, it's, but it's so good, it's so juicy, it's so awesome, so this one's gonna be similar to that, so I'm sure, so I'm really excited about trying that, and I love One Size Beauty, I think he's got some really good products, so I'm really interested in that one, that one really interests me, um, then up next, um, we have the uh, Pat McGrath Heart Desire Collection. It is also out now. There is a it's a four pan eyeshadow. There's highlighter. There's two lipsticks. Um, it's all about love, 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 love. Pat loves you. She wants you to buy her stuff, girl. She wants you to buy her stuff. Um, it is a fifty six dollars for the the eyeshadow quad. It is um. It's also $62 for the highlighter. And then the lipsticks, I think they're um they're also they're like 30 something, I believe, for the lipsticks. Um, no. No, and you don't need this. You don't really don't. I mean, this is a this is a lackluster desire collection because it's supposed to be the heart's desire collection. And no, you you just don't. I mean, I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. But I mean, you know, if you do, please let me know if you tried it or you bought it, but it's just, it's just, I mean, the outside packaging looks really kind of pretty with the blue flower on it, but the rest of it is just like a big hodgepodge of like what they've been doing lately. It's just a rehash of this and that. The lipsticks don't even look Valentine's Day to me. They look more, more neutral, more pale colored. I don't know. It's just not for me. I'm going to have to pass on that. So I'm going to say no, no, no to that one. And as far as I'm concerned, you, you need to say no too. I mean, I just don't think you need it. But if you, if you feel like you do, then definitely do, you know. Um, it's the Cream Shop Hello Kitty Blush Balm. There's three colors out now. I have it on right now. I love it. Um, it is really super cute. It's only, so far that I filmed it, it's just on the Cream Shop site, though. But there are three shades in it. It is a very sheer kind of balm. I bought the berry one. There's a pink one, a coral one, and a berry one. They are $15. Um, you definitely, if you like a sheer kind of glowy kind of balm, you will really like it. If you're more than a medium skin tone, though, none of them will show up on you. So I'm just going to throw that out there. But the packaging is adorable. It's Hello Kitty. It's really cute. It's not too balmy or too heavy or anything like that, but it is really gorgeous. And I think you would really, you would really like it if you are looking for a product like that. It is really cute. Um, and then, of course, um, up next, Tom Ford. You know, we have to throw, we can't have a will I buy it or a pass or yes or whatever you want to call these, these things, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, the Tom Ford lipsticks that they're coming up with, they're called, they're slim lipsticks that are coming soon. And there's like, there's 10 shades it looks like so far. I don't, that's all the information that I have on this. So I don't have any more information on this, but um, no, 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 mm -mm, no. No, we don't need it. And I can only imagine these are $80 or $90 probably. Um, you need to just let me know what you got to think about this. This is a pass for me. I, I just can't. I mean, but I had to throw a Tom in there. You know, we have to diss Tom. We do. We have to diss him every every so often. We got to diss him a little bit. We have to give him a little credit sometimes, but we got to diss him sometimes too. But this is definitely a no. And then Nomad Cosmetics also came out with their um, New Zealand Stargazing Palette. I have it on now. Um, they sent it to me in PR. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful palette. Again, it is in the last video. You have to check it out 
out there, but um, it's $59. I also have a code. Uh, I think it's GayBlood10. I will leave that down below. I'm not affiliated. It's just I just have a code for you guys to save some money if you're interested. But it's a beautiful color palette with beautiful multi-chromes in it and beautiful shimmers in it and it has some beautiful mattes in it but if you like color you may be really interested in it if you don't like color you may not like it but it is a beautiful palette um so i would definitely shout out to no man thank you so much for sending it to me because i really do appreciate it because it was really awesome and then bobby brown is coming out with her spring collection it is going to have a long wear waterproof cream eyeshadow sticks um and it's going to have a highlighter um and it's in really really pretty super pretty packaging i mean it's pretty I mean, it kind of fits Bobby Brown a little bit more than the Powerpuff Girls did. Because that, 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 that didn't make any sense. The Powerpuff Girls, that didn't make any sense. But anyway, um, I digress. It's like, you know, it, it's a pretty collection, but that is definitely a pass for me. So I'm definitely going to have to pass on that one. That's definitely a pass. And then um, Dior is also coming out with, um, let me go back for just a second. Dior Forever Glow Maximizers and Chic Shades in the Liquids. And then the new Glow Star Filter, which is a similar uh, 10 shade than that. And it's going to be similar to the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the Flawless Filter that she has. Um, this is going to be a yes to the Glow Filter. A no to the liquid luminizers, because the luminizers you can use is blush. There's going to be six shades. There's a pink, a coral, a brown, a couple that you can use kind of underneath at the top. It's a highlighter, it's a blush, whatever. Um, those will be a pass for me. I'm not interested in those, but I will, if I can, pick up one of the glow filters. Very interested in that because I love, I ran out of my Charlotte Tilbury and I have the Elf, but I don't have another one. So this, this one I'd be interested in trying, but there's 10 shades in it. So when it comes out, we'll have to see where money wise I'm at to get one. But if I can get one, I'm definitely going to try one of the glow filters. So that's definitely a yes on that one. Um, because it looks really beautiful. Um, the, the filter, it's illuminating, a complex that visibly smooths the skin. It's a 24 hour hydration. It sounds just like the Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm very interested to see about that. The liquid highlighter is going to be the fine pearls with the glow, multi use, the six shades. Yeah. So, but the glow, the highlighter, no, but the, but the definitely the star filter, yes. Uh, Betty Boop and Glam Light is coming out. Um, and it's supposed to be on February 2nd. Um, so, and this collection looks super, super cute. I have to say, it looks really cute. Um, I love the packaging. I don't know anything about it yet. They haven't really showed much yet. They've only briefly showed a little bit. But I'm going to tell you right now, the mirror's coming home with me. So, that, anything, I'd probably a, a, a no or a pass on the rest of the collection, but the mirror... The mirror's coming home. I, I'm getting the mirror. I mean, the mirror's, it, it's definitely going to be, I'm, I, it, because the Betty Boot mirror, I got to have a very Betty Boot mirror, because you know I'm all about collecting some mirrors. I got to have the Betty Boot. And then, um, last but not least, how could we leave without talking about Mama Kim Kardashian, Miss Kardashian with her skin beauty is back. It's back, y'all. She got a soft matte liquid color crayon coming for $32. Velvety matte li uh, lip liners for $22. And then a classic matte eyeshadow palette for $50. Now, okay. You guys are going to laugh at me for this. And it is matte. It is basic as AF. Let me just tell you, it is very, very basic. But can I just tell you, I'm really <laughs> And I don't even have the Makeup by Mario because it looks just like the Makeup by Mario palette. Exactly like it. It's even more basic than his. His even looks more exciting than hers. Something about it. So, I don't know. We we might just for, for not review purposes, but for science purposes, have to play with this palette and this lipstick and this lip liner. I'm, I'm desperately interested and I know you guys probably think I'm just crazy because this is about as basic as you can get. But, I mean, you know, but it's probably black, probably not any good. But I don't know. I, we're going to, I, this is something that I'm just interested in. So, anyway, I, I'm probably going to try this. So, that is a yes for me on this collection. Don't come for me, but it's a yes for me because I'm very interested in the science of it all. Hey everybody, so this is Editing Gabe here. Just wanted to step in really quick. So I forgot to throw in the most exciting launch of all of them that I'm really super excited about. L'Oreal is coming out with a brand new infallible setting spray mist. It's supposed to be a three second waterproof, sweatproof. Um, 
$12, I believe, is how much it's going to cost. I'm not really sure, but um, it's coming up soon. I'm so excited about that. If you guys don't know, L'Oreal Infallible and uh, the Maybelline Glass Skin Spray are two of my favorite sprays of all. Absolutely love it. I've never been without it. Um, I always have it on my hand. Um, but, but anyway, sorry, I'm rough. I'm just, I'm in the midst of editing this video. But anyway, I just want to come on here and tell you that that is definitely a yes. And I'm definitely going to pick that up because I'm really excited about that one. Um, cause I love the Huda Boss resting spray. I actually like the one size. I have a feeling it's going to be similar to the one size, um, uh, setting spray, but I could be wrong. But anyway, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but, but yeah, if you guys have made it this far, <laughs> thank you for hanging in. But I just wanted to throw that in there because there was one thing I forgot. I was like, dang it, I forgot to put that in there. So anyway, um, thanks guys. I just wanted, and now back to, back to Gabe in the past. <laughs> Over. What did you guys think of this? Because I've got to get, I got to wrap this up because it's been a long one. I'm so sorry this has been long. Um, let me know what you guys think about any of these. Thank you so much for joining me for this past. And yes, I'm so sorry that it's been a long one. We had so much to go over, so much I felt like I needed to voice my opinion on. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what? I can't help you. I can't. You know what? I mean, why would you not want to see this face every single day? Or, well, I don't, not every day, but maybe once a week. You know, at least when I, when I upload, whenever I upload. <laughs> anyway, remember, be safe, be strong, be proud, stay tall. Love yourself. Remember, tell somebody that you love them today because life's way too short. Remember also to tell somebody that you love them today. Um... I'm sorry, remember, be, be kind to someone because God, this goes an awful long way. And thank you guys so much for joining me. I had such a good time doing this. I miss you guys so much. Take care. We will see you again in the next episode. Bye. Mwah.